we have seen a bit of John Austin. You should read a bit more. <laughs> what I'm giving here is just an introduction. Um, just we, we will remember he was a great disciple, the most important one of Jeremy Bentham. He was an empiricist. He was at the end of modernity also. And he brought about the analytical jurisprudence to use a technique to understand and, and to be more rigorous in the study of it. For him, study law is a study rules, norms. What is a, 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 a law, a, a norm, a rule? And we say three things is a command, obviously, in an imperative way, issued by the sovereign with one certain shield. So with punishment, more or less, no? If you don't do that, you will receive this punishment. And we say that many people will critique Austin because it is a bit naive. Probably the law is something more. Is the law just? A command for the sovereign back by sanctions. So I don't know. I will put the, the question in the chat. So try to answer that question. We said that. Austin was enough smart, clever to realize that not everything that we call law fulfills these three requirements. And for example, the morality, yeah, it's a kind of law that doesn't fulfill that. Properly, laws are the laws of God marked by the sanction of hell, <laughs> the eternal punishment, and also the human laws approved by the parliament or the sovereign. Yeah, both will be, you have a sovereign and a command. And laws of some kind of bodies of the company, for example, that punish workers if you don't do that. Yeah, that will be also law according to this scheme. But law is also, and just remember uh, what we say, no? So law is also the preamble, the laws that allow things without punishment, and those who say you should do that, but there is no sanction. So it is in perfect obligations, no? according to some theory of law. And another thing is that probably could be closer morality and international law. International law at that time didn't have any, as you know, didn't have any a sanction. If you don't fulfill the treaty, the country will have no punishment. Now it's so different. We have a community and the United Nations, the African Union, and many other international and regional institutions that will put a kind of sanction. But in the 19th century, things were so different. International law was a kind of morality, and that's why he didn't say that international law is properly up. That is interesting. So the question is that the law is just a command backed by the sanctions or imposed by the sovereign. What do you think? 
<laughs> so is the law just a command of the sovereign bucket by sanctions or not? Or these other things properly are laws? Most of the people will say that these are laws of the thing that you see in the screen are truly laws. So be aware of that because all these kind of things uh, are truly law. It's not just backed by a sanction and the sanction could be not the most important thing. There are many things that you obey because you are you know that are the law and probably is without any sanction that is interesting. So I will put a video about one experiment, milligrams experiment. <laughs> 